Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with FC Groningen. Now, you know when you're playing Football Manager and you get in a good run of form and then you don't stop playing? That's kind of what happened to me. You can see on the left-hand side, we are sat third in the table. We are midway through January. The last episode was a very long time ago and I will show you the reasons why. The last match we played then was Ajax, and it was a one-all draw. Fernando Torres with a goal for them, Karamoko with a goal for us. Then we had a lot of games. We lost one game in the league and drew one game in the league, and then won a, just a buttload. I don't even know how many. A lot. First up was a Dutch Cup second round game against DOVO, who are an amateur side, and we destroyed them somewhat expectedly. Juna Toivio with two goals. He also had a penalty save, so he could have got a hat trick. Dino Hotic also with a goal. Karamoko with a goal. Frank Dogbolt gets himself a first half hat trick as well. 7 0 victory through to the next round. Next up was a 3-0 victory against a team that we struggled against last season. Adio Den Haag, Julian Green getting two goals and an own goal from Thomas Meisner. I think that's pronounced as an S. With an own goal in the 91st minute, Constant Navu gets himself sent off. But we win 3-0 and get three points. A local derby was up next against SC Heerenveen. 3-1 victory this time round. Morton Thorsby with a consolation goal for them. Tronston Dumfries with an own goal and Tom Van Witt with the three goals for us. Then against newly promoted FC Emmen, Julian Green gets a goal for us. Sargis Adamian with a goal for the M. We should have won this game. We didn't win. Obviously, it was a one-all draw. It still continued our undefeated streak. Then another of the promoted sides, Go Ahead Eagles, a 2-1 victory this time round. We go 1-0 down thanks to Carlone. Carlone, sorry. Carlone. That's what you do when you want a car. Then Christian Freideck and Edis Ibergwen with the goals immediately following each other gives us a 2-1 victory. Julian Green went and got himself injured in this game. He was injured for quite a while, but he is now back. Then Vitesse were the next to visit Nordli Stadion. Lars Veldwijk with the only goal in this game, a 1-0 victory. And only our second defeat of the season came against PEC Zwolle, a 4-3 defeat. We went 1-0 up thanks to Lars Veldwijk. Then we went 2-0 up thanks to Tom Tom Van Witt. Then Terrell Ondan pulled one back. Robert Pilar pulled another one back. It's 2-2. Sergio Pat scores an own goal just before half-time. We go in at half-time at 3-2 to PEC Zwolle. Second half, Tom Van Witt comes out, scores a 50th... 58th minute goal to make it three apiece. Paul Alexander Kirkivold, sure, scored in the 70th minute. And then Tom Van Witt missed a penalty. We could have drawn it. Tom Van Witt, because he was on a hat trick, missed his penalty because he's not very good at them, I assume. After the defeat to Zwolle, we end up going and beating FC Twente 2 1. Veldvik and Meffert with the goals for us. Adam Mayer with the goal for them. Three points in the bag. Back in the cup, we get through this round thanks to a 3-2 victory against Excelsior. Tom Van Viet with two goals for us. Frank Dogbell as well with a goal. Elbers and Vermeulen with the goals for them. Frank Dogbell, by the way, absolute hero. He is completely 100% replacing Mahi and we've not skipped a beat. And the final game of any interest between the episodes, a 2-1 victory against FC Utrecht. We go 1-0 down thanks to Cali after four minutes. Then Tom Van Witt and Jonas Meffert once again getting the two goals for us, giving us three points. We then play a couple of friendlies. They, they, we won 1-1-3-0 one, one, and we drew a boat of Fogo. We, in, in the league, in the league, let's, let's show you. It's quite interesting because... We are third. We've only lost two games. Ajax are fourth, only lost two games. We have a game in hand. If we beat Excelsior, which is going to be the first game of this episode, we will go top of the table. Willem Tway currently sat top of the table. They've got AZ Alkmaar later on. I don't know what's going on with the fixtures. We always seem to be further behind when it comes to fixtures. I'm not really sure why, but it's just how it's happening. Because we are in January, the transfer window has swung open and we've had some transfers in, some transfers out. First player we're going to mention is Jesper Drost. He has left for 214k. 14k? 215k to VVV Venlo. He wasn't getting any games. He's 26. I think he was out of contract at the end of the year as well, so just cashing in on him. And Constant Nabiu, the Ivorian right-back who's played a couple of games for us. He's gone out on loan to Belgium to play for Antwerp. 
I think he's going to get some games there and hopefully he'll improve as a footballer. In terms of players that have joined, Bernard Ibe, Nigerian striker, not very good, bought him a long time ago, probably won't ever see him play, he's coming on a free transfer. And 17-year-old Scottish striker James Taylor has joined for £1.8 million from Hibs. I don't know why he's cost so much money. Basically, I found him, I didn't have any money, and I said to the board, buy him, and they went, okay. So they spent £1.8 million on this player. He's good, he's very good, he's got a lot of potential. We need to really work him into the team. He's only just joined, so he hasn't actually played for us yet. I suspect he will be sat on the bench for the remainder of the season. Other news to mention, Mike Tawirik, as you can see there, LA Galaxy put in a bid for him. He has handed in a transfer request. I don't really want to get rid of him, but he's handed in a transfer request. And Nicolas Freire, Freire him, this guy, Argentine centre-back. He's currently on loan at PEC's Wall, out of contract at the end of the season. Central defender, I'm offering him a contract, basically because Larson's contract's expiring, and so is, well, Tawirik wants to leave, so I'm going to be very short on defenders soon. Let's get into the first game of the episode against SBV Excelsior, who are 16th in the table because they're in the Europa League and doing really badly. Here we are then. Can we get three points against Excelsior? Can we move to the top of the table, depending on the PSV result? Wait, they're not playing today. We can move to the top of the table, unless the only team that can really go ahead of us at the moment is Willem Tway. They're already ahead of us, Stuart. Think about what you're saying. The starting lineup that we are going to go for then is as follows. In goal is Sergio Pat, back four of Dakanam, Toivio, Larson and y Yango, Django, Warmerdam. Midfield pairing of Freideck and Meffert. Those two have actually been playing really well recently, so I want to keep them in place. Julian Green is the left-sided forward. Frank Dogbol is the right-sided forward. And we're going to have Ibergoen and Van Wiert as the two strikers. Something I want to mention to you. Julian Green here, Ju Julian, Julian Green here, he, he's out of contract, and I might be able to sign him. Maybe. We'll try it. Now, like I said earlier, Excelsior did manage to qualify for the Europa League. Problem is, since they qualified for the Europa League, they've been really bad in the league. They were rooted to the bottom of the table. I think there was eight, nine games where they hadn't won, and they drew, drew one game, and that was against us, I think. So... They've, they've improved since, I'm assuming, because they're knocked out of the Europa League, but they're still not doing very well. Apparently, the Willem Tway game is actually taking place at the same time, even though we had different kickoff times, so I'm not really sure how that works. But good news is AZ Alkmaar are beating them. We've got a highlight. Dakanam with the throw. Forward to Van Wiert. Van Wiert crosses... That's a crossfield ball to Fortes, apparently. Friedek's going to get it. Ball for Julian Green. The American cuts inside. Ibergren's there. Van Wiert's there. His 11th goal of the season. 1-0 up against Excelsior. And I don't know what's happened, but we are turning into a very good side again. And I'm kind of scared because I'm probably going to throw it away again. 15 minutes on the clock. We've got another highlight straight after the goal. Fortes. Fake. Fake's got tackled by Meffert. Julian Green. Ball for Van Wiert. Van Wiert needs to find Dogbol, does find Dogbol. Dakanam, make a run, doesn't bother. Toivio, forward. It's intercepted by Fortes. Fortes out to Elbers. Crossing the halfway line, running forward. Van Dwinen into the penalty area. Why didn't he keep running? If I was him, I would have kept running. I'm not a professional footballer. I wouldn't have been running in the first place. Over the halfway line, Julian Green with a header. Freideck keeps running forward. Ibergern. Meffert, back to Freideck. Freideck needs to find someone. Ibergern, Frankie Dogbowl's in the penalty area, and Frankie bloody Dogbowl makes it 2-0. 15 minutes on the clock. Frank Dogbowl's a legend. Just put it out there, Frank Dogbowl is an absolute legend. 35 minutes played since the second goal. Nothing has happened at all. Not even any shots, really. I think they've had one, and that's about it. Meffert has been booked. I don't know whether I'll... I'll keep him on. Obviously, it's the first half. I'll keep him on. He should be able to sustain another 10 minutes. Highlight just before half-time. Fake with the ball forward. Cannon Peel runs into the area but takes it out wide. Where is he going to go? He's being closed down. Finds Elbers. Elbers should have been marked. Finds Fake again. Has a go. It's in the bottom corner. Terrible bit of goalkeeping. Sergio Pat should not be being beaten at your front post from that distance. Half-time. It is 2-1 then. Let's get the assistant doing his team talk. Not bad. Uh, defensively, not doing very well at all. So I'm hoping we can score about three more goals. And it doesn't matter if we're doing bad defensively. 
first highlight of the second half is still ongoing. And this is why we... it's two apiece. It is two apiece. Luigi Bruins makes it 2-2. Excelsior are not a very good side. They're really not. We should be beating them. Let's let's encourage. Django Warmadan has been very error prone today. Okay. Dakanam has taken a knock as well. This is not going well. Ball over the halfway line. Ibergoen doesn't win the header. Elbers. Forward to Van Duinen. Van Duinen, weird little back flick. Larsen gets the ball over the top. Ibergoen runs onto it. He's only got Van Weert in the area. Van Weert is there. And Tom Van Weert is a hero. I've never heard of this man before since starting the save. He's amazing. First season he wasn't great. Veldvike was better. But this season he is on fire. Now, I was going to bring on the young Scottish striker, Taylor, but both our strikers are well in the eights for their rating, so I don't really want to do it. Elbers finds Luigi Bruins. Forward to Van Duin and doesn't get there, it's cleared. Ibergeren gets it on the halfway line. Julian Green will be getting subbed at some point because he's not doing very well. Speak of the devil, Nick's in dog bowl on the volley, hits it just wide. And that's going to be... I was going to say that's going to be the last of Julian Green. It's not. Defensively, look at this. 6.4, 6.5. That's our problem. Uh, Mepha is going to come off because he's booked. I said this earlier on. We're going to bring on Anders Tronson. I do like Tronson. He's a decent player. And he's a natural Mazala. Warmer down with a throw. Julian Green, who's suddenly improved massively. Ibergoen gets the ball. Cuts inside. Plenty of options. Tom Van Viet is one of them. He's in the area. I think he probably was offside, but Lino didn't flag for it. Highlights still ongoing. The keeper kicks it over the halfway line, but Julian Green gets it back. Iba Guren doesn't get the ball forward. Freideck does. Tom Van Viet on a hat-trick in the area. He's hit it just wide. That was unlucky. I don't want to bring off Iba Guren because he's on... Like, he's got three assists. He's assisted every single goal. I really want to bring on the old, uh, the old, the young Scottish guy. Tronson gets the ball. Julian Green playing really deep for some reason. Warmer down there if you need him. Does use him. Green make a run. Doesn't bother. Crossed, view, crossed field ball. Words mouth talk. Van Dwinen gets intercepted. Iba Gurren in on goal. He's questionable save from Christensen. It's a corner. Iba Gurren probably should have scored there, and that would have been the icing on the cake for his performance. Tronson with the corner, plays out dog bowl. Have a go, son. Doesn't bother. Frydeck, he does have a go. It's cleared. Van Duinen's going to get it, and that'll do. Julian Green is now coming off for Dino Hotic. I'm going to bring off Iba Gurren purely because... No, I'm not. I'm going to... No, Tom Van Viet's on a hat-trick. Iba Gurren needs to come off. I'm sorry. James Taylor's coming on, swapping you two over. That'll do. Tom Van Viet is going to finish the match. Hopefully he can get his hat-trick, but we are going to see the young Scottish striker make his debut. We're not going to see him do anything, however, because there's been no highlights since the substitutions, which I'm kind of okay with. We've got five minutes of injury time. It's disappearing. It looks like we've got 45 seconds left to play. As long as they don't get anything from this, we are going to pick up three points and we are going to move to the top of the Eredivisie. It's gone through. Oh, no, 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 no. Good, 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 good boy, Sergio Pat. You're not a dog. 20 seconds left to play. Frydeck moves into the area, plays out to Dino Hotic. Hotic needs to find someone, finds Tronson. Are we going to get a chance from this? Frydeck again, tackled. That's probably going to be it. There's four seconds left to play. Larson with a weird header. Warmadam gets the ball in the middle to Frydeck. The five minutes of injury time is up. Hotic's ball four doesn't find Van Viet. It's a 3-2 victory. And that, that was lucky. But it's another win. That team talk wasn't very good. 18 games in then, we are sat top of the table, looking pretty on top. There's a lot of teams, as there was last season, who are in the mix as well. I guess all the way down to fifth, maybe even here and Veen. If here and Veen win, they'll be on 32 points. So it's still tight, but we are the Ajax in this scenario, as opposed to being the Willem Tway in the last one. It is the Sunday, and we played, I think we played the Saturday, I think, maybe... Maybe we even played the Friday night. PSV have to play Feyenoord. That is our next opponent. We play PSV on the Wednesday. So they've got two days off. That's all they've got. I hope that this is a scrappy nil-nil draw. All their players are absolutely shattered. And then we get to fight against PSV, who are admittedly, they're up there. They're fighting for something. If that's, I mean, if Feyenoord win, we actually go into the PSV game top of the table. 
A bit of transfer news as well for you. Michael Brage, the player who basically came off the bench 12 times last season, he's gone out on loan to RKC, who are our feeder club. They are in the division below the Jupilia League, I think is what it's called. He's gone there, might get some games. He's 22 now, probably won't ever see him play for us anymore, unfortunately. Now that is a superb result. Final beating PSV 2-0. Obviously, final order a good side, but... It does mean we are top of the table and it means we have to go and play a somewhat dejected PSV side next. Welcome back to Nordlis where we have to play 5th place PSV Eindhoven. A win here, needless to say, will keep us top of the table a win for PSV will probably put them top of the table. So it's still all to play for. We are going to go with exactly the same starting lineup as the last game. So Sergio Pat in goal, Dakanam, Toivio, Larsen, and Warmadam as the back four, Freideck and Meffert as the two central midfielders, Julian Green and Frank Dogbol on the wings, Iba Guren and Tom Van Viert as the two strikers. Bit of update on Julian Green. He wants a lot of money. I can't give him a lot of money. Chances are, unless we manage to sell somebody, Julian Green is not signing permanently. The other option, of course, is to sell somebody like Air to Wyrick or someone like that to try and free up some of the wage budget. So that is definitely a thing we can do. Also, the guy that I showed you earlier, Ferreira, Ferreira the centre-back, the Argentine guy, he is joining at the end of the season. Uh, so if, if we do lose um, Larson because his contract's running out, or to Wyrick, we'll be fine, maybe. This is, I, I was going to say it's a must-win game. It's not a must-win game, but it's certainly a game that if we win it, it's going to keep our title hopes alive. And I really can't believe I'm saying that, actually with a bit of conviction at the moment, because we are on ridiculous form at the moment, and we've got a corner after 35 seconds. Friedek takes it out to Dogbol. Dogbol takes a touch, gets tackled. No, it doesn't. Iba Gurren's in there. He's had a go. He's hit it just wide. We could have been 1-0 up after a minute. So far, match stats-wise, there's been a total of zero shots on target and five shots in total, mostly for PSV. Hopefully, we can change this up fairly quickly. 30 minutes in, and this is certainly not a match for the neutrals. Six shots in total, zero on target. We've had more fouls than we've had shots on target. We've actually had more yellow cards than we've had shots on target. Oh no, wait, PSV have had one. And at half-time, guess what the score is? It is nil-nil. We've had zero shots on target. They've had two. It's not going so well. Julian Green looks stressed. Um, at the moment, mate, you're kind of not doing so well. I mean, if you want to stay here, you probably need to pull your finger out. Dino Hotic is going to come on for the second half. All it will take is one goal. That's all we need. It sounds really obvious, but all we need is one goal. We've got a goal kick. Sergio Pat, first highlight of the game, in fact. Iba Guren doesn't get there, doesn't get the second chance either. Lozano runs over the halfway line. Only one player forward for PSV at the moment. Mefa tackles, Dakanam on the ball. Dino Hotic has acres of space. Freideck gets the ball, plays it forward. Iba Guren, Van Wiertz in front. Plays it to Dino Hotic instead. He needs to go inside. Freideck, Iba Guren, Van, 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 what's his name? Van Viet is there. Does, I mean, that commentary is about five minutes too late now. At the moment, PSV running through towards the goal. De Jong, Lazovic, one on one with the keeper. He's hit the post and Toivio does a wonderful taco. Taco? Taco! He's done a taco, apparently. I'm wondering whether Iba Guren's actually had his one good game for the season because so far he's on a 6.4 and he's not really done a lot. Just over 60 minutes played, I'm going to demand more. We've still had no shots on target, but we have now had five shots. We've got a highlight, Dejean Dakanam with a throw. Van Viet gets tackled. Matt Vienko gets the ball. Van Viet doesn't quite get there. Lozano forward to De Jong. De Jong's got no one with him. Dakanam walks in, tackles him, but doesn't keep the ball. Ramsela, Pereiro, that's not even sure... Bargfred. Some of the, these aren't names. These can't be real people, can they? Dijon gets the ball. Friedrich nicks in and takes it. Tovio's ball over the top. Van Viet's there. Iba Guren's the only player in the box if he can find him. Crossed in. Iba Guren's there. We are 1-0 up against PSV. This will put us three points clear at the top of the table if it stays this way. We've had one shot on target and we've scored one goal. I don't want to change anything either. I think I'm going to keep it as we are. I mean, we play on standard now as well. I've changed from playing on attacking or counter or stuff like that. We just play on standard and it seems to do the job. We've got a highlight for PSV. 
Dijon gets the ball from the throw-on. Matt Vienko, the throw-on taker, gets the ball back. Bargfred plays it all the way out wide to Van Croy. Van Croy got some players with him, pushed it back instead though. Ramsalar. Ramsalar finds Bocanegra. Into Van Croy, plenty of space, finds Lammers, it's one apiece. I knew it was too good to be true. Everyone is looking very nervous. I'm going to pause it. 82 minutes on the clock. Van Viet is coming off. We're going to give James Taylor another try up front. What else do I do? I mean, defensively, we're doing okay. That's It's Hottich, but I can't bring Hottich off. He's just come on. Dog Bowl is coming off. Janino Bakuna is going to come on. He can't really play as a winger, but he's he's as good as, a, as Dog Bowl. Entering the final few minutes then, since the substitutions, not a lot has happened. PSV on paper, have been the much better side. But there is still the chance for another couple of couple of highlights, maybe? No? Don't fancy it? One minute left to play. There is a highlight. I don't know whether this... It's a penalty. It's an actual penalty. Yuna Tovio has given away a penalty in the 94th minute. Come on, Sergio. Do the business, son. Do the business. Please, do not... I can't afford to lose this game. Schwab takes it. He's missed. He's hit the post. It's going to be a draw. We've sneaked a draw here, if I'm perfectly honest with you. It's 94 minutes. That is the final kick of the game. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is really going to hurt him. At the end of the match, then, it's not the ideal result that we wanted, but we do remain top of the Eredivisie. 19 games in, so we're just over the halfway point in the season. As always with my episodes, with my seasons, as we get towards the end of the season, we're going to start kind of showing a lot more matches so next episode we're going to have something a little bit special we're going to have Ajax and we're going to have Feyenoord so we're going to have a Dutch Cup quarter final game I am fighting on two fronts this season I do want to win a trophy I mean if winning the Dutch Cup gets me into Europe great if I win the league that gets me into the Champions League even better if I win both amazing that is going to do it then for this episode. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I will see you next time for the Ajax game in the cup and the final game, who by that point may well be ahead of us in the league. Who knows?